In the last economic video, we discussed the changes in producer surplus. In today's economic video, we will discuss deadweight loss and allocative efficiency. As we all know, we can show producer and consumer surpluses on a graph. You will usually be required to show both on a graph. Remember that the consumer surplus is the area above the price and below the demand curve. It is shaded in and labelled as CS. The producer surplus is the area below the price and above the supply curve. We shade this in and label it as PS. We all know that there is a point of equilibrium in a market graph, which is the point where quantity supplied equals the quantity demanded. This can also be called the point of allocative efficiency, which is the point where all resources are allocated most efficiently. It is also known as the market's most efficient point. So now we know that there is a point where we can be allocatively efficient, which means that if we move out of that position, we must no longer be at a point where we are allocatively efficient. This means that we have lost some of the potential of the market. We call this loss of potential dead weight loss. A dead weight loss is caused when we are shifted out of equilibrium or shifted away from the point of allocative efficiency. A dead weight loss can be shown on the market graph as the area of consumer or producer surplus lost or a combination of the both. For example, if there was a subsidy, it would cause a deadweight loss because a subsidy will cause the price to consumers and the price to producers to be out of equilibrium. We can find the area of the deadweight loss on the graph by first drawing in the new consumer and producer surpluses and then looking at the area which is allocated to no one. Since this area is allocated to no one, it has become allocatively inefficient and we know that there has been a deadweight loss. This area must be it since this is the area of the subsidy which no one gets any benefit from. We shade in this area and label it DWL. Anything that shifts you out of equilibrium will cause a deadweight loss to occur. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you've got any questions please comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. See you guys next time.